Hey, so uh, let's talk about how you can connect your iPhone, uh, which is uh, right here, uh, to your Mac for uh, doing uh, diagnosing of, uh, of, of what's going on with your uh, device. Um, so the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to plug your iPhone or have a cable to plug it into your computer. Later on, I think you can do this through network, but it's easiest to start with the cable. Uh, the second thing you're going to do is you're going to bring up Safari, just like I have right here. And Safari is right now in dark mode. That's why it looks the way that it does. And, you know, I can always switch it off of dark mode uh, if uh, one were uh, so inclined. So you turn off dark mode. Yay, hooray, and turn back on dark mode. Okay. Um, but the, um, uh, but what we want to do now is go over to Safari. And we want to click where it says settings. And in settings, uh, we can now have, uh, you know, a bunch of different tabs, general, whatever, whatever, whatever. You want to go click on where it says advanced. And if you were to, um, you know, very, very bottom here, and if you, um, it will say show features for web developers. If you click this, you'll see a new tab shows up both here, but also you'll notice a new tab is showing up here at the very top of your screen. Watch, we can turn it off. Right, we can turn it off. See, now there's no develop menu up here, and now there is develop menu. That's how you know you're in developer mode, and developer mode is going to give you some superpowers. Now, there are some additional JavaScript things you can do from in here, but we're not going to worry about those right now. Um, the um, the big interesting thing is going to be in the develop menu up here. Now, so before I'm able to make that connection work with that develop menu that we have up here, uh, we're going to need to make sure the phone itself is set up to uh, use what's called the web inspector feature for mobile Safari. So if I'm on my phone right now, I can, you know, fl uh, flick away from this uh, and open up my settings. Right, which I have on the front page of my phone, but if you don't have immediately, you can swipe down and just do settings. Uh, and you can see all these settings that are in here, right? So you want to scroll on down to Safari, or you can just go search for Safari. Uh, Safari here, good. And now I can scroll down through Safari, and you're going to need to go all the way to the bottom here uh, where it says advanced. And under advanced, you're going to see this thing that says Web Inspector. This might be off as a starting point, so you want to turn it on and make sure that that's, that's there for it to, um, to, to run properly. So at this point, and, and of course, there, there's some other very cool features in here, uh, but, the, but the biggest one is this inspector, because if this inspector is on, that's going to allow us to make the connection that we're about to do next. I'm sure I've got my phone unplugged right now, and I can click where it says Use for Development. And now it says pairing denied usually. Uh, this is because I now have a thing up on my screen that says, do you trust this computer? I'm going to click the trust. And it's going to ask me to go punch in my security code. Okay, so at this point, it's like it still says pairing denied, even though I've already gone through all the business of putting in the uh, do you trust me. So I pulled the plug. You notice how the phone went away. I pushed the plug back in. And then, yeah, so sometimes I have to click away from this to make it come in, but it seems to have done it automatically this time where it shows my phone again. And now you can see that it shows like sites uh, that I'm currently looking at. At this point, I'm in a position where I can pick one of the tabs in Safari. So if I were to, in fact, you know what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, bring up uh, QuickTime. A quick time is actually a really great way to be getting this kind of side by side going on. I'm going to go uh, file new screen recording of, oh, no, it's not screen recording. Beg your pardon. Uh, it's going to be a movie recording. And which is going to be from, and I'm just going to move this over here. Okay. So instead of showing myself, which is not that exciting, I'm going to say, please show from my iPhone screen. Look at that. See, now I have the ability to record from my screen. Now you can always do that just by using the screen recorder directly on your phone, but by using it here, now I have the ability to sort of look side by side. Uh, both I have one on my hand and up here, which, which actually would be really great for when I want to do like a screen share demonstration of what's going on on the phone and be able to see my diagnostics at the same time. So let's talk about those diagnostics. I'm now on this uh, uh, site and I'm going to click and go to, um, 
I don't want to be in QuickTime, I want to be in Safari. And I click on my develop and I can click on my iPhone now. And now if I click this, you'll see it, it highlights this particular tab. Now, if I were to uh, say I want to uh, create a new tab and I were to go to a uh, state change, you know, and there's some background page to get to discover some of what's going on behind the scenes. And I want to pick, I don't know, state change AI, right? Now, by clicking that, it gives me a, a screen that probably looks pretty familiar to you, which looks like developer tools, right? Of uh, what you have from the particular site. So you can track everything that's going on for the network and how long it takes. Uh, and I can just do a quick refresh of the page. Uh, I can't actually remember, you <laughs> can't click on the uh, QuickTime view. I have to actually use the phone for it, which can be tricky. Which is cool. And now I can see everything that is going uh on you know and be able to watch it through the timeline and how long stuff is taking uh, yes yeah, some of the stuff is coming from descript user content which is oh that's because i have a uh, descript video in here uh, and if i scroll on my phone see i'm pushing up on my phone and down that's how i get to see what the site looks like and be able to track what's going on in the network be able to track what's going on in the console and actually yes i do have the ability to uh look at the um uh, look in here and say, you know, uh, document dot get elements by tag name uh, star dot length, just to find out this tells me there are 500 elements that are on the page. So I can interact with the JavaScript even on a mobile browser, uh, because I'm hooked up through Safari. Uh, there, there are some additional things you can do here by, you know, you can take a look at uh, storage uh, to see what's going on inside here, which can be super handy to see if there's something that might be going off the rails a little bit. Um, graphics, uh, layers, which sort of tells you about how the thing is being drawn. But th these are all very Safari things. Um, the From performance point of view, the most interesting thing is going to be profiling, right, in, in the way we associate with being on the desktop. So I can click on the recorder here and it starts to show me, all right, well, how much of my CPU is being used for which uh, pieces? of all this and you notice that when i scroll it becomes a little more intensive whatever uh and then i can press stop this isn't running all the time because it's super intensive to run but you get to find out how well it is operating and anything that extends um, a safari that works mobile safari will, will work with this too uh so this is the core of how we can use uh the uh inspector um and we can have different inspectors that go with different uh, pages like for example if I have this other tab that's not currently in the foreground um, and I switch over to it sorry and I switch over to it right here I am um, now I've got the reveal up this is what the reveal looks like and I can take a look at the console take a look at the sources take a look at the network and find out how it is performing um, this gives you superpowers. All the stuff that you can do for a desktop app, you can do for your mobile as well. And you don't need to use sort of the faked up, you know, mobile emulator like you have in Chrome. You can actually see what it looks like on the most popular of browsers, which of course is uh, mobile Safari. Uh, if you have questions about that, please leave them in the comments and we'll see you next time.